All right. Hello and welcome to the Northland. So, as promised, we hit the 75 subscriber mark. Um, I don't know, it was a couple weeks ago now, I think. We're, we're into the 80s now, 84, I think, or something, last time I checked. So, we got a new mod coming, and well, not coming, it's here. I am going to start the install process, um, and this is a scary one for me because it involves drilling holes. <sighs> anyway, measure twice, drill once, right? Um, so, I'm going to flip you around, show you what I got. And let's get started. All right, so here's what we got. We have a hood pin kit we're going to install. I am very nervous about drilling holes into my hood, um, in my car in general. So um, I'm probably going to have to have a drink or two before I start this. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I also picked up a, um, you know, it's still in the package. I'll show you again when I get it out but this is an OBD um, cover it says do not flash on the front so we'll put that on and then we picked up a fender cover so those uh, I guess that's not really a mod per se but that's what we got so we'll, uh, we'll video the install of this and uh, so if I screw it up you'll see it live well not live but you'll see it all right all right, so I think it goes without saying step one is to open the hood. Um, next step is to, where'd my thing go? We have to pull out <clears throat> all these pins. Um, and they're pretty easy. You just got to get under them, be careful. Um, I'm trying to do this one-handed, so please excuse my looking like I'm inept. <laughs> this is fun. Anyway, um, maybe I can attack a different one. So we gotta try and uh, right. do this the easy way, maybe. There we go. So, like that, you just pull it up, and then they just pull right out. So, anyway, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks to be there's eight of them, and then this cover should come off, and we'll go to the next step. Okay. Did it on both sides, and uh, there wasn't um, any. I shouldn't say no instructions. There was no. Um, only half of the instructions. <laughs> so, I kind of looked up some stuff on YouTube, and I don't know. That's what we're going with. I hope it's going to work out. Obviously, I mean. The bolts themselves, these these babies, they fit in here just fine. Um, and I'm guessing that it's going to come through like right in here somewhere. Um, same on this side. So we'll see. One step at a time. And uh, we're going to add some touch-up paint to the bare metal we don't want any rust to form um, we did this to the other side already so we'll let that dry before I put the bolts in all right so what we did now is I just put a little dab of grease on top of each of those pens and let's uh, close the hood here We'll see if we, there we go. So we've got a mark right where the next holes should go through the hood. I was kind of surprised it fit. It looked, uh, looked too small, but it fits. So here it is. Kind of cool. You can't really see it unless you get down under here, but 
it's neat. All right, so I've changed my mind and I think I'm kind of glad. Well, I mean, we'll see how it turns out, but um, my problem here is I'm gonna hold it level and you can see the pins are at an angle. And when I was standing at the front, I didn't really notice it much. <clears throat> um, my issue is this. If I go and put, like I could drill a bigger hole in the hood, right? Because this will cover it. The problem is, is, you know, you put this on and it's going to be kind of at an angle. And it's going to be a very tight fit. It almost has to be straight. And I'm afraid because these are at an angle and the hood coming down that that's not going to fit well. So, and I would rather screw up drilling here than up there. So, I am going to actually move them um, right about here, I think. I wanted to do it actually a little wider from the center. Problem is this little section here, and I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera. There's a little bit of an angle. This is more flat. Um, I thought about the radiator support brackets, but again, it would have to the hole would have to either be here or here. And so then, when I measured from the front of the hood to there, and I measured from the front of the hood this way, I mean, we're talking like right on the edge and maybe even into the insulation here. And that's just not good. That's just too far back. So and there aren't a whole lot of other places, you know, to, uh, to put holes. Um, and then let me see if I can show this. Uh, where's my light? You can see there's like all this honeycomb plastic stuff. Um, so you gotta find an opening where it's big enough to get a nut in there. And there aren't, again, there aren't very many places. So we're gonna go here, right here, and then the same place on the other side. So we'll do that and then um, we'll see how that works out. All right, I'm really getting nervous. <laughs> so I just punched through the inside of the hood. here or not but anyway oh yeah there it is so it better be right and those are the pilot holes here we go step next step do for a new battery all right so I've taped off around the pilot hole um, just to help prevent any um, other potential damage now the outside of this hood is covered with a PPF so um, <clears throat> I guess my only concern is creating a bubble or something in the PPF that's going to grow or ruin the PPF but that will help protect the hood. Now we're gonna use a uni bit or strep, step drill bit, or I suppose they have many names. Um, <clears throat> according to the half instruction sheet I got, they said the final hole should be 7 eighths of an inch. Well, this only goes to 3 quarters, and the posts are only um, half inch, I think. So I'm not gonna drill any bigger hole than I need to. We put a wood block, underneath the hood so that we can drill safely without hitting anything underneath and pray for me. All right, so we just got done drilling the holes. Um, hood is completely closed. And my advice to you is, <laughs> it says seven eighths, but it also says in the instructions that um, the plates uh, will accommodate for a larger hole if necessary. 
I mean, obviously they're, you know, they're good size. So my, you know, I think if you did these on a regular basis, um, seven eighths is perfect. Um, here's the problem. And this is what I failed to do. You know, when you're drilling holes, you're always told or taught to drill straight down. And so that was what I did. Well, of course, everything is at an angle. The pins are at a slight angle. The hood's at an angle. You're closing it. It's at an angle. So you got all these angles working against you. My largest bit was a 7 8. So I ended up having to do a little filing in order to actually make these fit. And I may need to do a little more because it's, it's right against there. But my advice to you would be to just start with a 1 inch hole. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room. Um, and then try and drill it at an angle. Um, you know, so if the hood, you need to drill this way rather than, you know, I mean, if the hood is open, right? Or in the down position, you need to drill towards the front of the car so that these will fit properly. Um, I think if you did these on a regular basis, 7 eighths is probably perfect. Um, but this being the first ones I've ever done and maybe the only ones I ever do. Um, I mean, I'm happy. It turned out well. I'll blow off all the, I'll blow off all the metal shavings and everything um, and blow out the inside of the car. And now the, the, these have to be adjusted yet. These are not in their final position. So they will be probably, well, after I get the plate on, we'll have to see where the holes are. Um, but I don't know. I, I think it's... So far, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. At least I didn't ruin my hood. All right, so next up, we drilled the pilot holes here and here. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that on tape. I will uh, now at this point, see these have kind of a elongated slot in them, and they're supposed to fit over here so that the pins can slide up and down easily. And uh, so we'll screw those on. And then, you see this has four holes so after I get the first one in along with the rubber gasket um, then we'll drill the other holes and secure the plates all right so we have the lanyards attached and I just hooked them right here since they're the only real purpose is just to make sure you don't lose them right and same on this side I uh, had to use a little bit bigger washer here. Uh, <laughs> I had to move the hole a little bit, so this one hole is a little bit bigger. Um, and then again, I just like with the hood, I attached, put a little dab of grease on, and then for the cover, just kind of eyeballed. Um, and so there's where we'll make the holes so we can get the cover back on. Well, there we go. Cover's on, pins are in, good and tight. Make sure they're very tight. Let's, uh, this hole's a little bit off. That hole's a smidge off, but it's functional. All right, let's, uh, let's close it up and see what it looks like. Here we go. Finished product. Installed. Um, it took a little bit of time, mainly because I was scared of hell is drilling holes in, but once I figured out, you know, I'm going to probably replace this hood at some point anyway, then I kind of lost some of my fear and I was like, let's just go ahead and do it. So, all right. I think it looks good. And it's uh, functional too, so that's more important to me. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I like it. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I would say I enjoyed making it, but I was probably more scared than I was having fun. I am glad that it is over. Um, I'm glad that it fits, I'm glad that it works. Uh, I like the kit, it seems to be a quality, uh, quality components. Um, just know that if you have a 2020 Mustang GT, anyway, and you use this kit, uh, if you put it in the location that I did, know that there's not a whole lot of room for adjustment. The pins that stick up through the hood are all the way extended. So um, I would just say plan carefully, measure carefully, take it slow, and you'll be happy. It'll work out just fine. Trust me. So uh, 
I wouldn't I would not hesitate to recommend the kit or the project to anyone that's interested whether it's for looks or whether it's for functionality or both so um, we do have videos planned through probably the first part of December so I'll be uploading again every week every Thursday night Friday morning um, at least through the first part of December so stay tuned for future videos uh, as I mentioned earlier in this video this was a mod for the 75 subscriber mark um, I think I mentioned <clears throat> that we were at 80 something actually we're at 92 now last I checked this morning so which is Monday morning when I'm making this um, at 100 we'll have another mod I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet so we'll see uh, smash that like and subscribe even if you didn't like that video smash it with whatever you have handy I'd really appreciate it tap the little bell at the bottom after you hit subscribe, that way you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Share it with anyone you think may have an interest, and even if you don't think they'll be interested, share it with them anyway. Um, stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.